funny shit. All right, you guys ready? Let's just do this. Newly obtained footage from the March 11th tsunami in northeastern Japan provides another look at the destructive force of the waves. It shows the exact moment when the advancing water got into the sewage system in the city of Kesenuma and blew a manhole cover off. Hirotaka Oyama shot the footage from the rooftop of a building where he'd taken shelter. He says the water gushed out after the first tsunami wave hit. <laughs> First, the tsunami came and water flooded the area. Then the manhole cover was blown off and water started gushing out like magma. We spoke with an expert at the National Institute for Land and Infrastructure Management. I've never seen anything like this before. The manhole was under two meters of water, but the underground flow still managed to blow the 40-kilogram cover off. Experts say this happened because of the tremendous force of the tsunami gushing through the sewage pipes. Sewage normally goes through a treatment facility before flowing out to sea. However, the tsunami destroyed the facility and the coastal sewage ducts. Seawater poured in from the ruptured sections and headed inland, eventually blowing off the manhole cover. Kesinema has confirmed at least 10 manhole covers were blown off in the city. We asked a manhole maker to reenact what happened. The transparent pipe is the sewage duct. The reverse flow from the tsunami sharply compresses the air inside the pipe. The trapped air pushes up the manhole cover. When the pressure reaches the limit, the cover is blown off. We are unaware of the risks posed by tsunami. Countermeasures must be taken to secure manhole covers on key evacuation routes and in areas that could be hit by tsunami. A new type of manhole cover has been developed that will remain in place even if the air becomes compressed in the sewage system below. But because of their high cost, only a few had been installed before the tsunami hit. Thumbs up or thumbs down if you are ready. One day I'm on top of the world. The next I'm saying... But they say it's too early to declare a state of cold sub shutdown for Fukushima Daiichi's three damaged reactors. Back, you're going out of control. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just beginning to see the light. You're talking nonsense. It's all so clear. I've been living a nightmare, obsessed with other people's acne, wrecking my brains to be original about boils. I've been going berserk. Then I suddenly thought of a fucking deep frying a turkey. Get his value. I tell you, it was like a fucking brainwave. I have discovered that brains are being laundered daily. I have found that out, but it shall be no more. So first off, shut the fuck up, all you people who are talking to me every fucking year about the dangers of... The utility now says it is important their cooling system remains reliable for cold shutdown to be achieved. I'm Phil Mickelson, pro golfer. If you have painful, swollen joints, I've been in your shoes. Okay, I am plum fucking sick of it. I already know how dangerous it is to deep fry anything. One day I'm on top of the world. The next I'm saying, I have this uh, thing called psoriatic arthritis. I had some uh, intense pain. It progressively got worse. Let alone a 20 pound fucking bird. It's retarded. My rheumatologist told me about Embril. I'm surprised how quickly my symptoms have been managed. Every year, don't light it too close to your house. Don't do it on your deck. Watch this film. Make sure it's thawed. Because Enbrel suppresses your immune system, it may lower your ability to fight infections. Dry it off. Don't overfill the fryer. Fuck you. Serious, sometimes fatal events, including infections, tuberculosis, lymphoma, other cancers, and nervous system and blood disorders have occurred. And then that, it, it, now it's an issue of fucking homeland security that we don't burn our houses down with turkey fryers. Before starting Enbrel, your doctor should test you for tuberculosis and discuss whether you've been to a region where certain fungal infections are common. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't start Embril if you have an infection like the flu. Tell your doctor if you're prone to infections, have cuts or sores, have had hepatitis B, have been treated for heart failure, or if while on Embril you experience persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness. Oh, the Underwriters Laboratory, they test shit for safety for the insurance industry. 
get back to the things that matter most. Good job, girls. Ask your rheumatologist if they won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die.